All right, welcome. So in this video, I want to show you a little bit more about how the canvas uh, works when we are using the scale and the rotate operator. So I've mentioned in the previous videos where I helped to show you how to uh, flip Mario and rotate Mario as needed, um, that what is actually happening behind the scenes when we call scale or rotate is that we actually rotate or flip the entire canvas. To demonstrate how this actually operates, I'm now going to render sort of four separate quadrants. Now normally when we draw our canvas, we only see this bottom right hand quadrant where the zero zero is uh, up here in the top left corner. Now to do this demo, what I did is I've actually done a translate operator and you can see this here where I've translated the canvas so that its center point or sorry, its origin point is at the center point. It's normally in the top left and I've, I've translated it so it's here. Now I've done that so that we can visualize what's happening off the canvas over in these other four sort of potential quadrants that we might see. So if we drew our Mario in the wrong location, he would appear on one of these other can, uh, uh, quadrants. To see this, let's just go ahead and try something here where I'm going to draw Mario at instead of at plus x plus y or plus 100 uh, um, plus 100 where we would normally see him that's where we see him being drawn here again if this was the visual canvas uh, this is where we would see him being drawn so now let's draw him at those at that other location and see what happens we get him up in this top left quadrant and that's because we've gone ahead and made these minus now you'll notice he's not up exactly in the where that rectangle would appear in that quadrant and that's because we're still drawing him from the position of 100 100 but we're also still drawing him in his normal direction to the to the right and down here okay so we've moved him off the canvas now if we had actually drawn this on the normal canvas without the translation we wouldn't be able to see him he'd be invisible but the reason I've, I've of course uh, uh, started this demo is so we could see where he would actually be off the canvas okay let's go back and change his coordinates back to being positive when we do that we'll see he pops back to where he belongs now I'm going to try something different now I'm going to change the scale over here to minus uh, one okay, and that's going to flip us over the x uh, over the vertical axis and we'll see him appearing over here on the uh, left quadrant, the bottom left quadrant. Again, we told him to be drawn at this coordinate, 100, 100, but because we put the scale operator on, he gets drawn to the left instead of being drawn to the right. Okay, let's experiment with some more of these by, well, let's, let's put uh, our X axis flip back to positive or no flip, and then we'll flip over the Y axis instead. And again, we see him flipped up above on the other side. So let's try one more. Let's say we flip them over both axes. axes. What are we gonna see here? And sure enough, he's in the top. Notice it's different than when we just drew him at minus X minus Y. We're getting different things because we're doing different stuff. What's happened here is yes, he will still be drawn sort of at minus X minus Y. That's the position that he's drawn at. But remember, the scale operator tells us that what we should be doing is drawing him to the left instead of to the right. That's what the minus one is telling us. And then also up instead of down. That's what the minus one is telling us as well. So that's how the scale operator works. Now that one's pretty straightforward. Let's go back and try our uh, rotation operator instead. Um, well, let's, let's see what this one does here. This is an angle of pi over four. So, Pi over four is a 45 degree angle. And what we see is that he's been rotated. Now, why did I do that? I, what I wanted to do here is see what happened to the canvas when we rotated it, okay? So in this case, we've kind of rotated the canvas from, it used to be drawn here, we've rotated it down in this direction. So now when we draw him at that same location, he's being drawn here. Let's go further, let's see, let's take him around uh, the circle and see what happens. So I'm going to go to pi over 2 next. That's going to be a 90 degree turn. And we now see him being drawn over there. 
he's been rotated 90 degrees. If only we could draw him back over here somehow that way, right? And he would be visible, but in this case, he's off the screen, but maybe rotated the way that we wanted him to be rotated. So now we can go again, let's, uh, well, let's, what, what should I go for next? Three, three pi uh, over four, let's try that. So there we've rotated him overall, again, sort of a 45 degree angle, but plus the 90 degrees, we're now at 135 degrees. Let's uh, take it one more to a full pi. And we now have him rotate. That's actually what we saw happening when we did the minus one, minus one flip earlier. So that's the same rotation or the same translation as you will. Um, we've turned him into a new position, but again, still off the screen. And we can probably see how this continues to go now. So I'm gonna, instead of doing by quarters now, let's go up to um, three halves. Got him rotated over into that quadrant and so on. So we can see now how the canvas rotates around as we, uh, as we uh, use this rotate operator. And uh, what we need to do, or what we were doing in that previous video, is figure out the appropriate translation so that when we rotate it around and we get it painted here, we can now paint them in the position that we actually wanted him to show up on the canvas. So hopefully this has added just a little bit of extra uh, information to help you understand what's going on under the scene and why we need to rotate um, things on the canvas in the way that we do. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in that next video.